Hi, I'm Phil Holden. I'm a professional photographer here in Seattle. Are you looking for a creative gift this year for Mother's Day or Father's Day? Then maybe it's time for you to come down to our photography studio to create some unique pieces of art for yourself. Here is Glenn. He's a Seattle local. He did just that. And you can see how much he enjoyed the experience. You know, the funny thing about holidays is they always seem to fall at the same time every year. And you always seem to find yourself with the same amount of time to plan and get something. And, you know, in particular, I was trying to find something for my wife for Mother's Day. And, you know, she she has a lot of things that she's gotten. It's, it's, you don't want to do the same thing over and over again. So I was trying to think of something that would really kind of blow her away. And part of it isn't just going out and buying something. It's actually kind of crafting it and almost getting involved in doing it yourself. And so, you know, I had this notion of uh, having pictures taken of our kids. You know, it's Mother's Day, right? But I didn't want to have pictures taken, the, you know, the traditional way of going to some you know, mass photographer studio like Yen Louie. You know, I wanted something unique because my wife likes art. She's, um, she's very smart. She loves our kids and she loves the little moments with them. So I didn't want to have these shots of the kids just like my son holding the football. He's like, he doesn't even play football. He's seven. And, you know, I wanted something unique. So I found out about this wonderful artist and photographer, um, Phil Holden. And um, I met with him to kind of discuss his approach. As I looked around and saw some of his other artwork, and there were you know, these beautiful black and whites, beautiful um, photographs of, of uh, uh, places he traveled around the world. But I, I saw this one that really caught my eye, and I asked him, was it a painting? And it was actually um, a picture he had taken that he had stretched over canvas. And the amazing thing was it looked like it was a painting. I mean, it had all the essence and clarity of a photograph, but it had all the texture and richness of a canvas. So, uh, you know, uh, still there's a lot of trepidation. You know, you're a dad, and you're taking all the time to kind of plan and organize something, and you kind of want to get it right. And I remember as I was driving the kids and telling them what we were doing, they were kind of excited. But, you know, they didn't know Phil. You know, they, I had no idea how my, at the time, six-year-old was going to react, because he's a cute guy. He's a cute little guy. He's a sensible guy. But, you know, we walk into Phil's studio. It's really kind of cool and hip. And he has this big old, and I mean big, cat that is just the cutest little thing. And Phil just immediately, you know, sees my kids, has the cat, gets them completely relaxed, and then he just starts shooting. And I literally just kind of sat back, beaming, and just watching all these great expressions coming from my kids. I mean, he was capturing just the essence of them, and he was capturing even more than that their relationship with each other, which, you know, time passes so quickly, you don't realize that that relationship exists. You know, so the, the shoot itself really didn't take that much time. I actually wish it had been longer because the kids were having a great time. And, you know, we left Phil and, you know, the kids were kind of like, you know, when do we get to see Uncle Phil again? He actually had the ability to take the raw material, which were my kids, shoot them, get the canvas, print the photograph on canvas and then stretch it into this fabulous, fabulous work of art. I've just got to show it to you. Now, of course, you know, the thing you notice are the beautiful kids, but if you could see the detail and the, and the, and the richness even in the black space, you know, it, this is what art is, right? I mean, art really tells multi-dimensions of stories as opposed to just being a picture. And, and that's why my wife was so excited when she saw this, because she actually thought it was a painting before she realized it was a photograph. And that's kind of the magic of it, right? You're always discovering something new when you look at it. If that's interesting to you, um, Glenn was certainly very happy. Just click on the button which says more info, and that will take you to the webpage with lots more details. Hopefully we get to see you soon.